Hi, I'm Karen McTavish, APQS educator and instructor. Today we're going to show you how to achieve micro loops. There's three different modes that you can quilt. You can do stitch regulated, stitch regulated with quilt glide or manual mode. Um, I'm going to go through all three. And we're going to start in stitch regulated and our stitch length is going to be set at about 12 stitches per inch. So we're looking through the foot this time. So it's a tiny little micro, like it's almost like a stippling, but it, we call it micro loops. So you're just kind of traveling around. Now I like to do sets of three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And I have to say, if this were a print, we might want to just change our light so we can have that fluorescent. And now we can really see what we're doing, especially in prints. When we're working with prints, that thread color can often just disappear and we go blind. So having that black light available really helps us with those fluorescent threads. So I'm going to turn on the regular light and we're going to go with the quilt glide now. And the quilt glide just releases the drag of the stitch regulator a little. So it's actually a little easier on your hands to do that micro work. So I love quilt glide because it just, once it kicks in, you can hear it. It's very easy to move the, the machine. And also, you know, you quilt faster. I love getting through a quilt faster. Um, and sometimes the stitch regulator slows you down a little, right? But if you really want to get into that micro, baby micro look, where you're looking through the foot, shut it off and sh take off your quilt glide and your stitch regulator. And we're going to go manual mode. So this now we're really going to fly. So here we go. Now I'm in control of the stitch length. So I can actually, while I'm quilting, increase my stitch length a little. And look how smaller I got. So we started off here in the stitch regulation and then quilt glide here, and now I'm in manual mode. And it's just barely moving my hand. There's literally no muscles that I'm utilizing to move this machine. It's just a very easy touch of the handles. You have total control of your machine. And it, what I want is the ability to draw like I'm drawing on a piece of paper. And that is how you achieve baby micro stippling.